following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. All systems go. Alright. For this video, I had originally purchased a Murray's firing pin for my SKS bolt. Um, they were having some problems with the a certain batch of those particular pins that were breaking. Um, I noticed that while in my rifle the firing pin was protruding. Obviously it's not supposed to do that. So I contacted Murray's. Um, those guys are great. They support their product. They sent me out a new firing pin right away. So, for this particular video, we're going to be installing the new firing pin. And uh, I kind of want to give a shout out to Murray's for being that supportive of their actual products. Um, I guess for me, that's kind of what expresses a truly good company is somebody who actually supports their products. So they didn't give me any hassles or anything. They sent out a brand new one right to me. Um, they've actually uh, already acknowledged the problems they were having and they've gone through all the effort of making sure that they took care of everything that was wrong. So in these new ones, they're having really good luck with them and nobody's complained. I guess they've sent out thousands of them and nobody's had any problems with these ones breaking. So bravo to them for taking care of their product and their customers. So we're going to install this one in the, in the bolt and see what we can come up with. The SKS bolt has a, has a solid firing pin that goes all the way from the front to the back. Um, the original SKS firing pins were not spring-loaded and they had a tapered seat so there was a problem occasionally where the pin would actually jam forward into the into the uh, pilot hole and be stuck like that and cause, cause slam fires. Um, these pins are designed to not do that. As you can see, there's a ridge around the back to keep it from extending too far, and it is spring-loaded. Now, in my particular case, when the pin broke, it appears that the spring is still functional. As you can see, it looks to me like just the pin broke. So, this should eliminate all the slam fire problems, and with this newer pin, we shouldn't have to worry about the pin breaking and hopefully that'll take care of everything. Now the original bolts, in order to remove them, I'm sure there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to how to disassemble the bolt. Uh, there's basically the retainer. A this is the actual pin that holds the entire bolt together. It, it retains it's a retaining pin that holds the firing pin in place and holds the the extractor up against the bolt. So we, in order to disassemble this we have to remove this retaining pin. Um, the way to do that is just to pound it out from the opposite side and then the bolt should pretty much be, we should be able to disassemble it pretty easily. Now since these Murray's pins are under spring pressure you're gonna have to make sure that you kind of pay attention to what you're doing because if you don't you're going to run into a problem where the pin may eject out a little harsher than an original pin would. But let's just get to it and see what we can come up with. As you can see, it didn't happen to me because the punch actually went through and held the pin in place. But once I removed that punch, the spring the spring isn't a very high tension spring, so it won't spring out, but it did come out. 
and we have the entire pin out and that's the original spring and pin um, as you can see the pin obviously did break it looks like there was a stress a stress joint there where it actually broke so that's the original pin now for the purposes of what I'm doing you don't need to remove the the uh, extractor but if you ever need to it's just as simple as pushing it out and ejecting it and there it is it fits into that little lip but we don't need to do that so I'm just gonna leave it in there and replace the pin now you have to make sure that this retaining groove is on top so that the retaining pin can actually sit there and hold the pin in place um, so the Made in USA is going to have to face up to where you can see it after you've inserted it in, into the bolt and then we'll stick the retaining pin back in place and go from there Voila! One fully repaired firing pin. And now we can see that it's protruding out like it's supposed to to actually hit the primer. It isn't going to extend too far because it's being retained by the by that ridge. And the spring is working great. So as for the original pin we can see that it was broke and the original spring appeared to be functional still it was just the pin that was the issue but that's pretty much all there is to it if you have any questions or comments just leave them right here and we'll get back to them as soon as we can thanks for watching <laughs> Shutdown sequence initiated. Shutting.